evening ladies and gentlemen welcome to a long overdue video i know it's been a oh, it hasn't been that long probably not as long as i've done in the past but as you say um i don't just do videos for the hell of it i do it because something interesting comes up and today is no exception so we are finally getting rid of the never-ending pain in my backside that is the GoPro Hero 4 camera. I have hated this thing since I got it. I have i don't even know why I bought another GoPro. It's just been a pain in the butt. And I'm going to do another video about all this and I'm going to explain why I hate GoPro. I hate everything they stand for. And yeah, so this video is going to be focused on my new camera. And specifically, I'm going to also show you how I am going to mount it on my helmet. Hopefully mount it. I've never done this before with this type of camera, so we have no idea how this is going to go. But allow me to introduce you to the TomTom Bandit. This uh, is sort of an oddball camera. It came out of nowhere. I was in a shop the other day and it was on special, almost half price. And I looked at it like, uh, okay, I didn't really know much about it. I did a bit of research and aside from the 4K, uh, not doing a decent frame rate for 4K. It offers a lot more than the GoPro cameras do. Um, and that's, and you know, there's some crazy stuff in it. Like, <clears throat> it has GPS built in, so you can do GPS overlays in your video. It's got accelerometer. It's got Bluetooth integration, so you can overlay heart rate monitoring and stuff like that. I mean, I want to use this for my my mountain biking, my downhill stuff as well. So this is a camera that does pretty much everything. And the best part about this camera, it has a rated three hour battery life. I have no idea if it will actually do three hours, but I can tell you it's gonna do a hell of a lot more than this piece of shit that lasts about 40 minutes. So I don't care GoPro, if you have a camera that can do 4K at 30 frames a second, I want a camera that I can actually record for a reasonable amount of time without the freaking thing going flat every 20 minutes or 40 minutes. So anyway, let's open this puppy up. I've already uh, opened the tape on it because I had to. Uh, I just had to touch it and see what it was like. But I can tell you straight away that this camera is—it's freaking heavy. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see how that goes on the helmet. The one good thing about it is it's going to be a lot more flush with the helmet. It's not going to stick out as far, so that should offset some of the weight. But as someone who's used GoPro cameras for quite a while, I can tell you I'm not used to this sort of quality. Like, this housing is solid. It feels like a brick. It actually feels like metal. It's quite cold to touch. And the bracket on the bottom is solid metal. Don't know if you can see that. It's got quick clamps like that. Really nice design. It it looks premium quality. GoPro, on the other hand, doesn't look premium quality. And yeah, it's got an, it's got a funky battery design. You sort of uh, twist it like that, and the whole battery module comes out. It's got a USB port on it, so you can charge it. Take some micro SD card in there, and yeah, the whole module slots in SD card and all, and you can swap the whole thing over without having to touch it. So yeah, you just drop it in like that and uh, twist it, and it's in. Also, obviously, we have a port on the back here for the microphone input and for charging. You have to have a microphone input. That was one of the issues I was having when trying to uh, decide you know, what direction I want to go with the next camera. So, yeah. And it's got this funky, twisty system to rotate the camera. You rotate the whole body of it when you want to move it around. So it's going to be something like that when it's finished, hopefully. As long as it all lines up properly. And, of course, accessories. Where would we be without accessories? At least they're not crazy expensive like the GoPro crap is. So, you know, we've got a, a GoPro adapter. That was five bucks. Pretty good. We've got a microphone cable, 15 bucks. 
not bad either. I think GoPro charged about $30, $40 for one of those, and you don't get much of a choice about how it's uh, connected either. And this is the most expensive one. We've got the pinch mounts, which are pretty cool, actually. They uh, rotate and they pivot out, and they do a few cool things. Really think it should come with the camera, uh, but it doesn't. But it is really nice quality. So you get four brackets in the kit. But this is the bit that interests me. So you've got this um, sort of swiveling bracket, which is going to be mounted on the on the side of the helmet. So you pop that out like this, and it unlocks the whole thing. And you can rotate it like that. You can turn it up and down. And when you're done, just lock it in like that. And it holds the whole thing in one place. Pretty ingenious. I like it. Plastic feels high quality. Solid metal pin. And it just feels really good. Same sort of tape that they use on the GoPro, which reminds me I've got to get that mount off, which is going to be a pain in the ass. So, yeah, the theory is that we're going to have it mounted like that and somehow like this, in theory. So that's what we're going to go for. So I thought I'd share with you guys how I mount it on my shoe berth helmet. The shoe berth is not a fun helmet to mount cameras on, I can tell you that. It's quite... It is very rounded, but it doesn't have... Because it's a flip front, it doesn't have much on the side that you can use. So it's going to be interesting how we actually make this happen. But I'm sure we'll work it out. Anyway, let's uh, sort of cut through... And we'll actually, you know what we're going to do first? We're going to weigh this GoPro. I want to know what this thing weighs. So I've had this Hero 4 since they came out on the market. And you know what? Oh, yeah, it's, it is pretty heavy. So let's weigh this thing and see what it actually uh, compares. So fire, this, fire up my super expensive scales. So the GoPro weighs... 145 grams, including its skeleton housing. All right, this bad boy, 193 grams. So yeah, like 20-ish, 25% heavier. Pretty heavy, but it it feels quality. And for the battery life, if it does actually do three hours. I will be over the moon because I have wanted a camera for so long that I don't have to worry about it. I just turn it on when I go for a ride and forget about it. And that way I can capture anything that happens without having to remember to turn it on and do all this crap. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's the weight. Let's get mounting. Okay, so we got the uh, GoPro mount off, what's left of it. So, yeah, that was the mount. Anyone who was wondering... Uh, hot air gun did the job really well and then I just cleaned it up with some alcohol so used to be mounted there and yeah so I got my trusty Bosch digital hot air gun any temperature I want so I used 100 degrees took about 4 minutes and yeah then it finally let go you don't want to heat up your helmet too much because you can damage the lacquer and compromise the shell of the helmet as well. So I was very careful not to heat it up too much. But yeah, so we're going to bring that in a bit more. And this is the mount without the clamp and everything sitting on it. So I think we're going to go here. And it's pretty much where the GoPro was sitting. The GoPro was probably a little bit further forward, which I would have preferred. But we're sort of out of options with that. Because if we look here, I don't know if you guys can see it or not. You've got that sort of uh, lip here. And if you have the mount hanging down there, you can see that you, you end up with a gap. Which is uh, no good for mounting these sort of brackets. You need to make sure it's got a nice solid surface. So if I wanted maybe go a bit further forward. We might be able to get away with that. This actually looks like... These mounts are curved, and it actually looks like it conforms really well to the contour of this helmet. So, yeah, I'm thinking at the moment we're going to go with either here, or maybe we'll get away with here. I'm going to do some test mounts and see how the camera angle looks. 
and we will be back shortly. Okay, so we're all mounted. It's looking great, actually. I'm uh, really impressed with that. I had some concerns about how far it would be able to uh, move, but if we um, pop that off, wow, that comes off easy. So there's our mount, stuck it pretty much exactly where the GoPro was. The surface area is much larger than the GoPro, which is nice. It's a different material, um, the actual adhesive. I actually think this stuff is stronger and looks nice and flush, aside from the big black blob, obviously, but it's pretty smooth. And we've got our, uh, our bracket here, in which we can swivel, we can do everything, and then we just lock it in place. And obviously we've got our mic installed. I don't like the length of this cable. I may actually cut it off and redo it so it's about the length that I need for this helmet because I hate hiding wires in my helmet. But anyway, basically it just snaps on like that. And so we can go like that, we can go like that, we can tilt it out like this, we can spin it around the other way if we want it to face inwards. So we're going to go with it like this and probably we'll start like that and lock that latch and that's it we're done uh, it also has some o-rings on the bottom here so it doesn't rattle around which is really handy and yeah so that's the um done even matches my helmet look at that i like it i like it a lot it looks a lot better than the GoPro. It doesn't look like this freaking bulbous thing that's sticking out the side of my helmet with bloody mounts galore and all this junk. I mean, this is how the GoPro was before. And, you know, it's, it just looks crap. And this thing, you know, it sort of looks like it's part of the, ca part of the helmet. You know, nice and white. Looks good. So, Tom Tom Bandit. It's my new vlogging camera. GoPro. Going in the bin. Forget about that. You'll never see it again, hopefully. And, yeah. So, we'll do a ride video very soon. And I'll give you my thoughts on the image quality and everything. I pretty much know what it's like already, just to give you guys a bit of a bit of an inside tip because I know a friend who has one of these already. It's probably not, you know, the absolute best like the GoPro, but at the same time, it will record for a long time, which is what matters. And, you know, we're doing vlogging. We're not recording a freaking feature film. <laughs> anyway, new video coming soon. Till then, see you later.